Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the God Please Clean My Room Projects Daily Wash number 67. Today's topic is Almighty. Our scripture reference will be taken from Genesis, the 49th chapter, the 25th verse, which reads, By the God of your Father, who will help you, and by the Almighty, who will bless you with blessings of heaven above. Blessings of the deep that lies beneath. Blessings of the breast and of the womb. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, so there are a few trigger words in that scripture that I'm sure caught your attention. And the premise for this that we want to focus on tonight is almighty. How many of you have ever, ever sat around and worried about your problems? And because you believe, you're like, well, I know God. I know he'll help, but I'm still going to go back to worrying about this thing. Have you ever done that before? You have? Okay. So let's talk about this thing. You know, um, we have different things we say when we're worshiping God. But today in my spirit in church, he just had me to keep saying, like, I love to say mighty God, but he made me correct myself and say almighty, like almighty God. So we need to get this thing. We're not talking about a God who is among other gods who can do some things. We're talking about the one true living God who is all powerful, who is almighty, who can handle everything. So how dare you insult him by acting as though he can't resolve your problem or your issue? Pause and think on that. How dare you insult him in that way? So don't worry about those problems for any longer or any second. If you've done something in your past where you know you've been disobedient because God has given us clear laws that we should govern ourselves by as believers amen and they are all for our own good if we just admit it and you know that's the past so today moving forward you know that you want to start living a lifestyle of obedience as you live this lifestyle of obedience you need to start reverencing god give him his honor give him his glory and call him almighty he is almighty he can handle any situation that you lay at his feet but you have to lay them down you have to lay your burdens down in order, in order for him to repair your life in order for him to repair your life you have to give it all up to him and change do these things that he's been calling you to do and urging you to do and remember to call out to the almighty call him almighty Call him almighty right now. Call him almighty God so you can always remember and never forget. He's not Mr. Fix-It. He's not Mr. Do-It. He's not Mr. Sometimes. He's always. He's everything. He's Alpha. He's Omega. And in between. This is serious. A very serious situation. Almighty God. So just humble yourselves before him. Cry out to him. Pray before him. Remember who it is that you're going to at all times. Remember how great, how awesome, how magnificent, how marvelous he is. Greater than we could ever fathom or imagine. Remember that his thoughts are above your thoughts. That means that he knows better. No matter how great the plan you think may be that you've crafted out or you've designed for your life, understand that he is almighty. He has it. Perhaps you're single and you've been waiting on your mate. Um, I know a couple of friends who are single and they do things at different times that are trying to set up a situation for themselves. Don't you understand that God knows better than you? All you have to do is to continue waiting patiently and understand that you can just go about your regular routine, your regular regimen, and he's going to bring that mate to you at the appropriate time. Amen? At the time when his work is complete in them and in yourself. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Thank you so much for reminding us of who you are. At times, because you're so accessible to us and we can just reach out to you whenever we desire, we may forget how great, how awesome you are. But thank you for reminding us that you are, in fact, almighty Lord. And we right now umber ourselves back before you. And we ask that you urge us to do the things that we need to do to turn our lives back over to you, Father God. And understand that there's no man in this earth, not a devil or demon in hell, that can do anything about the plans that you have for those who love you, who are called according to your purpose, which includes each of every one of us who are on this video today and who have given up our lives to you we know that we can do this right now in this moment if we haven't lord we love you we lift your name on high we ask you for forgiveness of any sins we understand they've already been thrown into the sea of, the, of forgetfulness and we no longer need to feel ashamed of our past for we have been liberated in christ jesus thank you for the victory right now in jesus name amen hallelujah god bless you Go in peace and humble yourself before the Almighty God.